Let's run away from the mirror because we're so scared because we're so hot. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. This is Jane, and today we are showing you and teaching you how to get perfect beachways. Oh, and before we get started, give me a, are you ready? Give me a C. C. Give me an O. O. Wait, like and subscribe, not comment. <laughs> <laughs> um, did someone teach you the choreography? No, oh God. It's pretty easy. All you're gonna do is I'm gonna do a triple twist of you in the chair. <laughs> I'm gonna pick you up, you do a backflip, and then we hit five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Okay. I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, oh I'm just kidding. Okay, so what happened was, is she got her hair washed with Embody Shampoo and Conditioner. Did you love it? I did. There's a nice slip to it, but it definitely feels thick. It feels very hydrated now. Yes, so hydrated. I also have very thin colored hair. She's just like, unique. Rare even. Your highlights are so pretty. Thank you. Who does your hair color? Her name is Mary Joy. She's here in East Austin. I'm obsessed with Mary Joy. And the sun's been kind of shining on uh, it, so I yes. think it's been lightning. I'm hungry for some like um honeycomb. <laughs> if I'm putting heat to your hair, what am I putting on? Like and subscribe. Just kidding. Um, instant recovery serum. It has a gorgeous texture if you Ooh. want to play with it. Yes, it's very that. light. It has a really gorgeous balance of hemisqualane and squalane, which both have natural heat protectant properties. And there's also charged lemon protein, niacinamide. Niacinamide is actually also a skincare uh, ingredient. Sassy, fierce, chic, not our fault. And then you'll notice I'm just using a wet brush to make sure that I distribute the product all throughout the hair. But it really helps to prevent like heat styling damage from using heat. For people with highlights, it's even more important. If you were to like put heat protectant on like the right side of your head and not the left side for like a whole year, you would see such a gigantic difference. Y'all, don't not put heat protectant in your hair. Does your hair hold a curl well? It does not. Yes, I was kind of hoping you would say that. So I'm gonna show you, you and you, this really cool trick with our complete air dry cream. So even though the title is air dry cream and it works amazing as an air dry, it also can be a really good friend of yours on a blow dry. Now, there is chia seed extract in this, which is a natural film former, which is going to help to enhance waves, but it'll also help to kind of keep waves more like vivacious on a blow dry. But did you see how much I used of that? a little bit. Just, yeah, not that much. It smells so good. It smells just, really good. I just got a whiff of it. I only use this if I'm gonna kind of like rough dry the hair all the way dry. So I wouldn't really use this if I was gonna like round brush your entire hair. If you were only gonna do your hair straight, I would not have done air dry cream. So it's only because we're doing the beach waves today. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no. Uh, oh, thanks, great. Emily. Will you do me a flavor of the month? Flip your hair upside down. I need more volume in this hair. This is such a good trick, you guys. If you need more volume, if you want bigger hair, flip your hair upside down. And also, sometimes when you're trying to get the hair bigger, maybe take the nozzle off because the nozzle kind of concentrates the airflow. But in this case, we want to get this hair bigger and like beach wavier and we want it to hold. And you don't even need to round brush or paddle brush anything. So that's something I actually didn't know because I always round brush and then curl my hair, which is probably why the curl is so hard. It kind of so pulls hard. it straight, mm -hmm. yeah. So this way we're not going to kind of pull it so straight and hopefully it's going to hold a little bit better. Oh, your hair feels amazing. Okay, you can flip your head up fiercely. Yes, queen, I like that commitment. And right now it feels very hydrated, which is something that I don't get a lot when I come out of the shower, I think, because the product is always usually so oh stripping. Oh my God, keep talking dirty to me, Queen. That's like the <laughs> nicest thing anyone's ever said to me in my life. It and does feel hydrated though, right? Yes, it does. And then I like how the cream feels right now because it feels really soft and hydrated without that crunchy feel, which is why I never use heat protectant, which I know is so bad for your hair. If you just cut the air dry cream with the tiniest bit of instant recovery serum, it like, just takes any sort of crunch out, but you still get that good hold. Because you do want a natural hold. That chia seed and the linseed is like really happy. And when you say chia seed, is it kind of like the chia seeds that go to my chia seed pudding? The yeah. same thing that's so good for your body. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't build up on the hair, but it helps to increase hydration and wave or curl or kink, whatever your natural hair texture is. 
I do like to do this little twisting thing and then like, do you miss watching me do this to people's hair for like 12 hours a day? Emily and I used to work together for like the longest days. And then this one time, <laughs> When I leased my first brand new car, it was a Prius. We'd worked for like 16 hours on like a Friday and then we went down to the parking garage and I immediately backed it into a parking column. It was so sad. We were dev, weren't we? Well, it was more just me. The only time I use the brush is when I blow dry. So I'm learning a lot right now by just using your fingers and twisting, which I'm liking all this texture that I'm seeing. Yes. Normally when I round brush, is just stick straight, which is exactly what I don't want. Yes. And this is a really good way to set the hair. It's really easy. It still takes as long as like a round brush does, but it's just like less labor, like intensive. You can just like twist your hair. And if you want to get more texture, see how I have like all of your hair divided in half? Yes. You can take that Section. and divide that in half. So you get like a little less hair. And that's going to make your hair, that'll make the curl tighter. This is almost even good to go in the morning. I know, it's, it's cute. Already, you wouldn't yeah. You wouldn't have to do anything else. No, to it. I'm very shocked right now because my hair would need a curl liner to get this kind of texture. Oh, you look so happy. Uh, I'm just so surprised that I didn't I didn't know about this technique before. And I'm liking this volume. Good volume. Which I right? also do not get. This is it's the embody yeah. shampoo, not to chew my own horn. Uh, but it's true. Embodies like did not come to play. When did you move here to Austin? I moved here in March of 2020. But I thought I was just moving here for a TV show, but then I fell in love with it here, and then I got married here, and then I adopted like 87,000 animals, and now I live here. What made you fall in love with the city of Austin right now? It was so here? green. Like, I just love, like, there's just, like, deer everywhere. I really moved here and became obsessed with bugs. I know it's weird, and I've never liked them before. Me and my friend Julie found a and tarantula like the size oh, of my God, fist no. and sent it to the American Museum of Natural History on in FedEx. But it was oh. dead already, so don't oh. worry. Wait. But now me and Julie are in like the American Museum of Natural History with this f like tarantula specimen we found. I'll show you a picture, it's crazy. I'm a food blogger here in Austin, so I do all the restaurants and things to do. Ah, uh, you know I'm obsessed with? Lupe's tortilla. Oh, you know what? I've actually never been there. What do you get there? Like and the ribs, the chicken fajitas, the chicken poblano nachos. That sounds ah! so good. I'm starving just thinking about it. They are so good. Okay, that looks so good when you do that in the camera. Just like, oh, yes. I'm just like, it's so soft and there's so much volume already. So I like to use like the points in the hairline where your hair starts to kind of, like your temples. Yeah, like your temporal recession. Oh, doctor, uh, you take that and I'm just going to loosely clip this out of our way. And so that just makes it easier because like we don't have to deal with it, it gets us out of our way. Then I'm gonna come right behind your ears and do another section. So now we only have this hair left down just so that you can see. So um, I'm gonna do this cool wave on your hair. And is that a straightener or is that a curler? It's a straightener, but you can use straighteners to actually wave the hair. So I'm gonna make little C shapings. So I make a C underneath, and make a C on top. Make a C underneath. And you can kind of do whatever you want with the ends. Oh my God. That's from a straightener? Yeah. <sighs> and I like how bouncy it is. So do you wanna see me do it again? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're just gonna make a little C shape underneath. And you just hold it for a couple of seconds. And I'm kind of clamping it as I go. And then I go on top of it. Underneath. From top. Underneath. From top. Underneath. So now I have this section down. I'm just gonna work with the front. And this is what I mean, I'm gonna divide this in two. So I'm not gonna do all this together. I'm gonna make it two sections. More sections is gonna make it look thicker. So these underneath, I kinda just did that in like two big, just get it out of the way. But as we get up on top of your hair, I'm gonna do like a little bit smaller sections. And I'm gonna show you another cool technique. This way. So I don't want the wave on this to start like way up here. I want it to start a little bit lower, push, the hair up through the straightener 
and you can make these like amazing little S's. Ooh, okay. They actually look really similar. It's just like different techniques to get like a similar vibe. Okay, so do you see how I started to like run it through to the ends and then I was like, no, because I forgot your hair doesn't like to hold a curl. I'm only gonna heat it as I curl it. Does that make sense? Like I'm not gonna heat up the whole section and then curl it. And see how I keep your ends out? Because they're, they're the most fragile, so they don't need to go in the beginning. Oh, okay. Especially if you have highlights, the ends don't need the heat as much. It's the roots that need it a little bit more. But then I'm gonna hold it. And why do we hold it? Um, you wanna let it cool down just a tiny bit because your hair doesn't hold as well. I don't want this curl to fall. So I'm just like letting it like cool down in my hand. And then I just, I do want it to be a little bit easier of a way, so I'm gonna just straighten that end out a little bit. I do kind of like to do a curling iron on top. It's kind of nice. Another question I get a lot on BG waves is like, ooh, do the waves all have to go the same way, different ways? It is kind of nice for a beachy wave for them to go different, because it just keeps it a little bit like more natural. If you do them all the same way or like alternate them like by row, it can end up a little bit like 20s vibes or like too polished. Another thing you'll notice is I'm doing your waves. See how I'm trying to keep your ends like ribbon, mm -hmm. not like a shoelace. So you don't want to like twist up like the section so that it's like a thick, like you want it to be like a ribbon. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> that was the Dyson. <clears throat> she does that sometimes. The thing that I'm doing on you today, this could be like if you're going to like, you know, date or dinner or like a, you know, you, you really like want a little bit of an extra zhuzh in your hair. So this is definitely like a little extra what we're doing today. Like you don't have to do all this every time. I love that this was like naturally just like all JV in here. It really like didn't need anything else. It's so soft right now. Too. It feels good, right? It feels, yeah, it feels really soft even after you put the heat on it. I don't know, I'm just like so into your hair right now I can't almost even talk. The shine is like intoxicating me. With anything, practice makes perfect. So if you're newer to styling your hair, just keep playing with it. It's all good. Like you're gonna get better as you go. It's almost like if you try making dinner and you it up, you just like order a pizza. You just put it in a top knot. If you mess it up, you just put it in a little top knot and then you can learn next time. I would also say that like just to keep it really full, more sections around your face and on the top are better. Like underneath you can get away with doing like big fat sections. Remember how I did that underneath and like one each? As you get like higher and on top of your hair, you do want to do more. Mm, okay. I'm also surprised that we haven't even used hairspray yet. And it's I like know. Holding. And I'm actually going to do, I'm not going to do any hairspray. I'm just going to come back through with a little bit more of my air dry cream. I'm going to do just literally that much again. So not very much at all. And will you flip your hair upside down for me? Will you guys give me a slow clap? Like someone's about to like, bum, 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 bum. Yeah. Uh. Uh, okay, come on, beach wave reveal, yay! She's stunning. Look at these stunning, bodacious JVN waves. Oh, now it's really doing it for me. Ah! <gasps> like the video, comment, subscribe, and watch all the other videos as well. Oh my God, yes! Uh, <laughs> let's run away from the mirror because we're so scared because we're so hot. Okay. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> uh.